So I was going to show you how I make the keto chow ice cream mix for the Ninja Creamy. Uh, basically, you have to make it the night before, freeze it overnight, your ice cream batter, and then it's good to go. So, yes. <laughs> oh boy, what? Okay, let me go check my blood sugar. I'll be right back. Well, as usual, the dog is always right. <laughs> so, <laughs> my blood sugar is just on the higher side of, of normal. So had to take a little insulin, get it down before I get to eating my ice cream. <laughs> Although this is keto ice cream. So my favorite keto chow flavor so far, and I've tried probably five or six now, is the pecan sticky bun. It literally tastes like buttery, bready, um, like a sticky bun. You know, it's got that pecan flavor and that sweet sweetness to it, but it's got some saltiness too. It's really a good one. I'm actually gonna order some more because this is my last packet and I'm gonna make it into ice cream today. So the ice cream batter for the Ninja Creamy, you have to make the night before and then keep it in the freezer overnight for about 24 hours and then you're good to go. So what I do for this one is I've got my Vitamix blender here and I put maybe about a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream, just approximately. I don't really measure, which I know is bad. But, um, I do put about a quarter of a packet of vanilla pudding mix, sugar-free vanilla pudding mix. And the rest I do in almond breeze, which also is pretty low in carbs. It's one cup is one carb so to me this is the best milk as far as low carb there we go and the keto chow mix and then i do about a tablespoon of melted butter um, i do unsalted butter which i just realized this is salted butter <laughs> so, let me get that <laughs> okay unsalted butter that is better hi cooper and i melt that in the microwave Okay, so before I put the butter in, I'm gonna get this going, just kind of get it lightly mixed. So I just turn it on the one, I don't even put the lid on it at this point, and then turn it on. And then I add the butter. And there's a little bit of powder on the side, so I'm just gonna push it down and then remix it a little longer. Okay, and I do it until it's kind of like a thicker milkshake consistency, and then it's ready to pour in. And there you go, it's ready to go. So pop this in the freezer overnight, and that will be ice cream for tomorrow. So this one I made yesterday, and we're gonna go ahead and make this one into ice cream. So I do it on the light ice cream setting for keto ice cream. Okay, so let's see how this went. I did do it for two cycles, four minutes each. And it should be good. Let's find out. Oh yeah, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. So let me come show you how smooth and just delicious this looks. Look at that, it is just so smooth. Definitely gives Haagen-Dazs a run for its money. <laughs> it's delicious. And I figured out what I like so much about the pecan sticky bun. It actually tastes like cake batter, um, if that makes sense. It's so creamy and so good that it's like a meal in and of itself. Um, I could definitely add some pecans and maybe some sugar-free white chocolate chips and some other stuff to kind of spruce it up. But it's so good just like this that I'm just gonna eat it like this. <laughs> mm. Mm. If you have not tried keto chow yet, I definitely recommend it. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with the recipes and making keto stuff, but this is, between this and this same flavor made into a shake, I think those are my favorites so far. Mm. Mm. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat my ice cream.